Anytime you as a bail agent or you hire a bounty hunter that has to cross this threshold, what are you increasing exponentially? Liability. Liability. Look at this doorway right here. I walk through this doorway, right? Right? What do we call this tactically? Point of entrance. It's a vertical coffin or a fatal funnel. Yeah. I don't want to see any of this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sideways back later. Remember the guy in the in the room that we found who rented it two days earlier and didn't gone for three months? Okay, part of how we found him was because I had this deal in place. A lot of people as bail agents, it's gonna be bounty hunters, whatever you are, you know, you go through, you say, okay, I got my classes, now I go and I get my gun class, and I got a gun, total 31K, I can carry a gun. And then you get another bail. The next thing you know, it's been two, three weeks and you forgot about recording the deed, the bond goes into forfeiture, the market crashes, whatever. I'm gonna go arrest this guy. Okay. What's the first thing that you've done? That's how many times have you seen this figure when it comes to hiring a bounty hunter? A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Of, that, that's, that's the standard. And like I said, I don't know where it came from, okay? You don't know if somebody's going to get shot going through the door. You don't know any. <clears throat> the second you require your bounty hunter to go through this door, you are increasing your own liability. And if, if civil or criminal liability arises out of the actions of anybody having to cross that, that door, the vertical coffin, the fatal funnel, Who's gonna get sued?